ولا آله وصحبه ومن سار على أنتي وكفى إقوة الأفاضل إن هذا اليوم يوم الجمعة أفضل أيام الأسبوعين والله سبحانه وتعالى يأمركم أن تبتروا من الصلوات والتسليمات على حبيبه وحبيبه محمد المصر المرتبع لقوله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا قال كريزيز أنا أدريش سلوك الله سبحانه وتعالى The Lord of Yerimah, we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we praise Him Almighty, may peace and peace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his companions, and those who follow his path to the girl of God man. Last week, we came here out of fear, because we don't know what may happen to help to us on the road. As we are coming to deliver someone here, and all of you as well who came out in a very, very wonderful way to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that shows if we are contesting, that one will not go out to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, our rooms are very, very empty. And another thing is that we in Nigeria, we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do face a lot of challenges, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only in our faith. Allah wa ta'ala Allah, there are some of us, they are so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As it is, some people may protest outside there, some people may busy with sudu, supplicating to Allah. They may say, Ya Allah, Allah, to our sister, our father, subhanahu wa ta'ala, praying for our country and praying for every one of us. That is the reason why you can see whether directly or indirectly is over. What happened last week, let me tell you. If it's another country, it can consume that country. But why? Go to Libya. In Libya today, they don't experience what they call peace anymore. If you have to buy cooking gas, you have to go and join King with your money. Some of them don't have money. Before you can get cooking gas, it may take you more than one week to have a mouth. Something that you get easily in Nigeria. And go to Sudan. <laughs> Sudan now. It has become what we call Hawiya. They have destroyed everything and they have turned their cities to, to Hara. It is the abandoned cities where people don't, anybody can not even live and stay there anymore. But in Nigeria, whenever it's about to scatter, Allah's mother will bring it back. You need to recognize and acknowledge the last drama upon this country. One why it is another country. You can't come back here and go on to what you because out of fear, if you can see corpses on the road, will you come? And this time also, the Lord ask you to come. To go and kill yourself. Allah wants you to live and succeed in this life and come to Him and succeed over there. He doesn't want us to just kill ourselves. You see, who then, for protest, you say you are putting your chest. Then, uh, uh, move on. Allah, you will die. Life will continue. Even your father will not remember you. Your, because it's not only you, not only you now, you are here that even some people will love you. They say that our man is not married, he's not us. He's a criminal yaru. He doesn't hear what. So that you to be very careful. Don't go and put your chest or something, you keep your right way. You just lose your life. And nothing will happen. Life must continue. The way many people have died before, and nothing happened. So that we need to be very careful. And you must understand the last Muhammad wa ta'ala. And we must find solution. And we need to engage ourselves. Islam is beyond this of coming for Juma prayer. And putting to heart and having five minute prayer. We must train our children. Can you imagine during protest period last week, small small children, they were out. Age of the range of 10. Doing what? I'm asking and I was wondering where are their fathers? Where are their mothers? Going to where? Do you want to lose them? Something that everybody will have on. Not public room for everybody. You have to secure yourself and protect yourself. Somebody is saying, saying that if they are going to marry for somebody who wants to share right. You want to take that right? I'm going to take another one in the like, hour. So we need to be very careful. We need to educate our children. And all of us, 
We have sheep. We are lying. We stand here. I talk about a decent project. I say, you know that we are supporting Dome or, or a man that is doing well fine or he is wealthy or something like that or he collected something from a decent his excellency. No. Better. Only a man, a lot of people is going to ask them for the job. They must give people the best. Focus is not the best. One last I had it yesterday. Some of our imam, some imam, some imam, I don't know him. They say it's normal. They say people should go and protest. Go out. And that day, that protest consumed his family. What lie? Because if you are pretty fit now, you don't know what will happen. You may not you may know the beginning, but nobody knows the end. See, that very day, they started it on Thursday, right? Eh? Yes, that very day, Nigeria was over 400 billion. Including that one that are making here in Otago, that are around the life of Otago market people. They are very, very mature. I came here on Friday, they are busy selling and buying. But a lot of people, they are not place and place of business. You see, I mean, it's too hard to be back. They don't do any protest. Don't say any reasonable business, man. Join protest. Somebody from Kabancha, you don't need to tell you. He did not to park his car at his store. When the other people will attack his store. He, he, he rented about 200 trailers to park his car from Kamancha to uh, Marufashi, sorry, to Kano. What else Kano also was not saying? Is he even unbelievers, non Muslim? Are you telling me that they go out to organize themselves that us? What is the essence of us praying and supplicating for us to our Tara and attend Karaku in our world everywhere? What does that mean? And we have a and they do something terrible. How come? How dare you? Talking to a great man. Those people are representing from the Prophet Muhammad They are not anti here. The son has insulted them. I even had a son who even tried to attack them, attack their houses. You want to attack people of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala? Rather, you don't want to attack yourself. We need to be very careful. They didn't reach a level. Some children. As they lack knowledge and proper terribia, well, I will mean, they attack a particular mastiff, must. They remove windows, they remove doors, they remove clocks, they remove sound system, and the keeper. Now, are you, are you, are you, are you against Allah? If you are against Nigeria, go and meet them now. What are you looking for in Allah's house? Or are you a giant curioso that broke a cover door once? You also you broke a lot, and I don't need to know you still a last property. You took everything, kept it, windows, doors, everything. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you to? We need to be very careful. We need to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If something like this happens, there's no any solution. Nobody knew among the people that we are out that day. If you ask them that, they will come back again. <laughs> they say, ah, we need to answer that question now. It means that we are all wise. A movement, you don't allow something to happen to you, calamity to befall before you protect yourself. They say prevention better than cure. That is Islam. That is the reason I came here last week. I said, Wama Asalu and Istifari Watawa. Oh, so fantastic! Istifar and repentance. I'm going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of difficulties. Wallah, we are allowed that to solve your problem. Only Allah, nobody can suffer with you, the way you are. Allah, someone that was taking care of you when you were in the womb of your mother, you don't even know your right. You cannot hear, you cannot see, you don't know anything. You are powerless, hopeless, in the womb of your mother. Allah was still providing for you. Now, Allah, does not mean that Allah will not provide for you now? We need to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need money, good government. Talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you don't cost your, your, your government. And uh, nobody should say that is uh, this imam uh, is having a problem of tribalism. If you are a regular member here, only go out in the regime, I just want to pray for him. I just want to put his name. Have you ever had me praying for Tinubu? Or Mimba? I don't put you go out his name. Here. Yeah. Even somebody met me, he said, ah, he said, people say that you have collected money. But I said, does Wari give anybody money? Does he release? You know, you people know now. He doesn't release now. Why oh, why is he gave me money? Did you see my private video? Eh? But uh, did, did you see me mention it to you? 
And that's a Sharia, that's an Islamic ideology. You must pray for your, for your, for your leader. Yes, because if they behave well, then the result will come back to you. If they misbehave, the result will come back to you, whether negatively or positively. You need to be very careful. And then they hold. He said, Well, you come instead to rock back home. Ask Allah to forgive your sin. The population of, the population of Muslims in Nigeria, we are, we are more than 65%. That's the reality. Here, in El Salvador, one with four wives, somebody that is below 40 years, is with four wives. He married four wives. The first one, ten children, the second one, seven, before you may ask what. And the other one, like Muslims, Muslims among them. And they get the majority. That is the reality. You know that. The marriage of two, three, or four wives. Plenty of children. But those people, somebody will know he, he, at the end of 40 years, no matter. He is approaching you and one of us or what I don't even understand. And he's not also to sports. But then I should give up to one or two. Two of them are weak. And another thing they are afraid of poverty. How come now you are telling me that this 50-50? Muslim 15 percent, 15. No, we are more than them. If that percentage should go back to Allah, eh? I ask Allah for forgiveness and will repent. I say, if you are shouting from where you, you in the market, you are still carrying your this in your this in your your spirit. You don't have correct mood. There is mood in Kauri and there is another one in Abuja. You are using self yourself. The way we have, Allah will bring out one of us as a, as a leader. That is reality. Maybe some of us that are sitting here today, maybe some of you will serve as a governor tomorrow. Some of you minister. Maybe some of us maybe will become a Nigerian president. You don't know. You know that you will be doing this thing, packing and packing, reducing, removing, all this thing. You will become a very president. You will do well. You know that you are diverting people things. They give you things, go and share it. You are diverting, you want to pack it. Greatness. And you that are insulting somebody today. Some people they are just stuck because they are not opportune and no chance. If they give them chance, they misbehave. You need to be very careful. Allah said that He will give you rain. We don't utilize rain in Nigeria. We don't, so many people are lazy. You can farm. Even when you have to put base, it will come out. You put yam, it will come out. You put uh, beef, it will come out. Everything. Allah, free of charge. This thing that you are seeing, go to Qatar, they attract rain with technology, spending millions of dollars to get that far. But in Nigeria, we see still do that. Maybe after you want that, another one will fall. Today, we say that this rain is, is, is too much. Allah said that you come back to me, where I see the water in our water, I will increase you in power. Who want to just a leader? Man power, physical power, and who want to tell a leader? Power of thinking, not power of stealing, of corruption, mm -hmm. power of how do we develop. It's not that Saudi Arabia there. Just like the people of Salman, I think it's below 35 now, 35 years old. Now it's building many towns. Among of the town that is building in Saudi Arabia desert is New New City. That's really they say they love using cars. Their taxes and everything is they call about that uh, 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 flying, how do you put it? Is that color that will be taken over one place or another? Then they are passed this way. If you see Nigeria with some cars, you see it's all a lot. To rock to rock up. Canada will be breaking uh, 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 this is smoke. That is a sign of poverty. Tell us what other help us. Who what? Who what to the Piriya? What tell me? How do you allow to give you more power to develop your country? Allah will never descend from someone to come and fix your country. You will be the one to do it. See somebody now in your city. He said, Captain, he said, 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 he to differentiate this and last house, give her Miss Baby, I should not Miss Baby in the last house. Lack of demand, we go and go. They don't want to pay me pass up. And in Kano, there's a digital economy. This thing that they are the centers for uh, uh, communication, they destroy everything.
Apparently, they remove all the laptops. Are we really representing Islam? No. They're going to tell me, Rahimullah Ta'ala, say, Wa ma Rahimullah Ta'ala, illa Allah ala yu'abdhu mustakira. Allah will never punish a mustakir person. Somebody that is engaged himself into this sifat. The sifat is not very easy. Me now, you can see me now, I'm not in small world. You cannot call me a small boy. Anyway, you cannot call me an old man, and you cannot call me too young. If you see, you say young, young, young guy. Yeah. I say, are you okay? We did right, right, right. Although I'm saying young, anyway. Eh? You know, since when I was born, I was much younger, small child. This man is saying, never, never, never. How could this Nigeria have lost some people of power? How could this moment? They will, from there, you realize that this, the matter requires patience. And it requires that you need to collect yourself to Allah. Huh? If you tell you, say, Allah Father will not punish Mustaq Mira. And lastly, there's deep message here. I want people to get it right. Anas Bumani, in the Red Dead Sadi, he said, some people gather themselves. That is a protest. Like they want to put, they want to protest. There is no, there's no new thing in Islam. And they met Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because now that he served as a commander in chief, they say, Ya Rasulullah, God, God has said, and if you like, say, God has said, ah, prices are too high. One would have raised them three, five, or four thousand. Oh, yeah, tomato, everything from where we are comparing today. They told Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you are saying, you can reach the I'm not telling him, all right, nobody is stopping you. They don't start directing. In their blood, if they are protesting, they don't have anybody. You also don't have anybody. Don't stick. Don't do anything. Don't start anything. Just go and meet them and talk to them. If you are the type of person that can express yourself, some people will be out there who can express themselves. They ask them what do you want. Somebody said that there. Now, nah, she's above 30 years old, no marriage. Uh, is it that when you are committing sin, anybody send you? Is it to the people who provide your husband? Eh? I know somebody said that I like one, one woman uh, brought out a pot. Since he, the healthy business thinking, healthy thinking. They have a pot of uh, rice. I have nothing to go for my children. Is it who your husband? Yes, now. That's the reality. Me, I have not money now. I'm not going to go. I go to the how do I get money? And how do I put food to put on the table for my family? That's the reality. And the brother said, listen. That is a leader. A leader must be very, very tough. Is that people listening to me? In the law of Musa El, Allah is in charge of our prices. He is telling them indirectly really understand. If you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will bring it down. If you go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is it not the same way that we are that we may actually be a dust naked? Some people take down all, some do, some do rock overnight. Do you think everything will go free? Allah was uh, was special. He must be more self-calamity in my life. That is the reality, you should be very, very sincere. He said, and it will be a lost mother, it will go down. You disobey a lost mother, it will go up. And Allah has gone down from before. Don't ask the first place, what's the regime? Allah, everyone has done this. Wallahi, the economy was stable. Because all of them don't fear Allah, they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They said, Omar, have I ever seen that one before? Even so, that man, they don't do that. We said, do you want to go to a high? We will bless people for high. Do you want to go to Umura? We will bless people for Umura. Say Allah have done that. Get that one to happen in Nigeria. People that have been going in Central India, God that will be in the front. They want to pay me. They say, we want to do marriage. We give them salary and accommodation. That is the economy that we are talking about. Only it's not that we pay that kind of economy. That is the reality. And he said, you, you are on debt. You need to clear your debt, your role. You will lack accommodation. This one's sick. Umar Muhammad was this. He was the first president that did that one. And Umar Kadabi is close to him. Close to him. And in essence, Umar Razi said, and now what will I do? We still have plenty of money in our account, government account. No more poor person. Nobody to collect Zakat. What do we do now? Umar Razi said, I say, ah, I remember animals. Under the regime of Umar ibn Razi, on the day of the day, they, they, they laughed and they reported it to Allah SWT. What would I say? He now said they should go and buy jail, go and buy masala, buy maize, buy everything. Go and share for the animals in the, in the bush. Say Allah has God. If Nigeria is in that place, it does be five trillions, which is Baba Riga account. As if they are going to spend money in the grave. 
Oh, I would have to spend money on the day of Kiyama. Forget that one, India lost my other high power. He was saying, I'm not going to go I will call you. Sometimes he will seize our risk, like our web. Because we want to, we want to, you know, so he jumped on the point of We want us to straight, we want to, we want to our head to be too straight. We want us to put our leg in the proper place. We will reduce our, our sources of income. And sometimes I'll pass it. If you obey him, he will open the door for us. The people of Allah they laugh, they are probably doing this, but they they have disobeyed Allah, and Allah will provide for them. And they say, al he is al -Razar. And lastly, he say, I don't want to meet Allah. So I don't want to give you a judgment with anybody right now. I don't want anybody to come and say, Muhammad, you are going to give me my money, or my God, or you keep me. He said, I want to meet Allah, so Allah, Allah, just clean and clean. That's why I'm not going to fix any prices. We are not saying fixing prices is hard. If you have any way to do it now, but the person that he ran away from fixing prices, rather he's directing them to the bed, the bed. He said, Go back to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We in Nigeria, we should go back to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will surprise us with his favor and his blessing. Nobody can suffer from a like Allah. And nobody can hear your voices like Allah. And nobody can grant your request like Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody can come in and come in and come in and come in. Allah <laughs> Allah